into the checking account, it's going to be deposited at 20500 If I was to have made these individually put into the checking account, I would see a payment form instead of a deposit form for three separate amounts. And that might make it a little bit more difficult to reconcile to the bank account if I'm depositing it physically into the bank account as one line item. If I go to the tab to the left and hit the plus button and hit the bank deposit, it's got this nice system within QuickBooks that anything in undeposited funds adding up to that 20,500 has been put in here. So the payments and the sales receipts will kind of show up in here so that we can easily click them off and group them in that way so that they, so we can deposit them properly, hopefully, and make it easy to reconcile. So closing that back out, there are those. And then the accounts receivable sub ledger, if I run that, is now at uh, 8,011,250. One, That's what should be tying out to this 8,022,150. 8, That's what I meant. And then let's go to the first tab. In this tab, now if I look at the open invoices, these are the two remaining open. If we look at the paid items, this is what have been paid. And of course we can track this in the sales side you can also look at, at similar information in the invoices here in the invoices tab and do similar processes within here. And then we go into the customers. And if I was to look at all the customers, I can go down to Smith and say, okay, Smith, if, I, if they were to contact me and talk to, and I'm communicating with them, I could say, okay, yeah, the invoice has been paid. If I go into that invoice, I can see that it's been paid. It has a link to the payment that's been made. Everything lines up very nicely.